The key is do 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 to see or not to see. Do 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 to see or not to see. Join the rush line, try the lottery, or pay full price. It's the best show you'll see. Do 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 to see or not to see. Hi guys, We're happy back. new year! Oh, I know y'all missed us so I know. much. It's been a while. We're back, um, better than ever. Yes. And talking about Jitney, one of August Wilson's classic works. Right now, it's currently on Broadway at the Samuel J. Friedman Theater, and the show has a limited run. So, if you want, if you're interested, if you like our review, you should go and see it um, by March 12th. The most important thing to note is that they do have thirty dollar tickets, rush tickets, that you can get the day of the show. So, Emily, why don't you tell us a little bit about Jitney? I mean, August Wilson has, you know, this great body of work. Yeah. One show for each decade um, of the last century. So, tell us about this one. So, Jitney is being staged for the first time on Broadway. It is by Pulitzer Prize winning playwright August Wilson. And it was set in the 1970s. It follows a group of men who are trying to eke out a living by driving... <laughs> Jitneys, unlicensed cabs. When the city threatens to board up the business and the boss's sons returns from prison, tempers flare, potent secrets are revealed, and the fragile threads binding these people together may come undone at last. Dum, dum, dum. <laughs> so tell me what you thought. I appreciate uh, August Wilson's work and his contribution to the theatrical world, especially regarding artists of color. I'm usually more into some of the newer playwrights like Katori Hall, uh, Terrell Allen McCraney, who's from Miami, things of that nature. Liberty City um, to be exact. <laughs> yes, yes. Um, so, you know, I had to go back and prepare to see this August Wilson show. There were a few things I liked. Um, I thought it was slow, very slow during the first act. The night that I went, we saw it on different nights. Um, but I thought the energy really picked up during the second act. I thought the set looked real. Like if you stubbed it back in the day, they even had like like floorboards. And the set was done by scenic designer David Gallo, who's done like over a thousand shows. Like if you go to Playbill, he has a large, you know, I list agree. of work. So um, I did appreciate that. Um, I like the backdrop as well because it was kind of like a little grayed out and it kind of showed that the city was you know, having a period of transition. Pittsburgh. Yes, in Pittsburgh um, at that time. And it was kind of like looming over the set, you know, showing that, you know, life is very fragile at this point in time. What'd you like? Well, I really liked it. I really liked it. Straight play that I really <laughs> liked. What? Did you hear that? <laughs> um, I thought there were really, really strong performances mm -hmm. by Andre Holland, who played Youngblood. Who was recently in Moonlight. Yes, yes. yes. Also, Brandon Dearden, who has done a lot of August Wilson's exactly. work in New York City and I've outside. Mm -hmm. and he and his brother are wonderful uh, uh, actors, and they portray August Wilson's work great. Strong, mm -hmm. strong work by him. He plays the son. His name is Booster. Mm -hmm. and, um, the I'm most memorable character. The most memorable character, and I think he might get a Tony nomination, yeah. was the gentleman who played Fielding, Anthony Chisholm. And uh, this was a very spirited character hilarious mm -hmm. brought the comedy to the show there were moments where i couldn't hear exactly what he yeah, was saying yeah he was doing this weird voice thing that was a little I, too much for me <laughs> but i thought it was hilarious yeah. i thought he was really funny mm -hmm. so he to me is like a standout and we may see him coming mm -hmm. up with a, the tony nomination mm -hmm. in the spring mm -hmm. so overall i liked it i definitely recommend for everyone to go out and see it august wilson is uh ever present in our society today mm -hmm. in our culture which I love and I give it four out of five stars mm, four out of five I'm gonna go with three and a half stars I did appreciate Andre's performance but I liked him more when I saw him on stage at the public theater and I think the brother sisters play also I thought the gossip Michael Potts he yeah, was quite interesting he and we saw him in Aubergine yeah. um, at Playwrights Horizon mm -hmm. so he was really engaging um, so that was great the stage combat. You didn't like that? It was a struggle on the night I saw it. And there's more oh. than one like physical like altercation in the show. Um, 
Oh, it didn't go well. Oof. Keep your eye Dear. out as well for <laughs> Kara Patterson, an up and coming actress who plays Rena in this show. She was also in Straight Out of Compton. She played Dr. Dre's wife, and I saw her in Little Children Dream of God. Is that oh, that's called? her. Yeah. Okay, I didn't realize that. She's great. Right. She's strong, and I think she's one to watch. She was much better in the second act. I think that whole um, scene between her and Andre was really good. Mm. Um, I don't, I, I was not a fan of that Afro sheen line because she didn't have an Afro. So that was interesting. <laughs> <laughs> so overall, <laughs> it's a good review from To See or Not To See. Definitely see it. And we'll be coming to you very frequently in 2017. Do, 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 to see or not to see. Woo, do, 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 to see or not to see.